As you can figure out from their name, preset bearings don't require any setting or adjustment. The adjustment is designed and built in. If you're not using a preset bearing, you have to adjust the bearings to create the right clearance between the inner and outer races. In this video, you'll see how to adjust a bearing using a two nut system. During this video, pay special attention to all warnings and cautions to help protect yourself, fellow maintenance professionals, customers, and your equipment. We'll show the process described in the recommended practice, RP618, of the American Trucking Association's Technology and Maintenance Council. Also check the manufacturer's instructions, which may include safety information and warnings. With a manually adjusted bearing, there is no spacer. Torque the inner adjusting nut to 200 foot-pounds while rotating the hub assembly. Back off the inner nut one full turn. Retorque the adjusting nut to 50 foot-pounds while rotating the hub assembly. Back off the inner nut according to the instructions in RP618. Install the lock washer, engaging the slot in the spindle and dowel pin on the adjusting nut. If you can't engage the locking system, try removing, flipping, and reinstalling the locking device. If that doesn't work, loosen the nut slightly until you can engage the locking system. Install the jam nut and torque it based on the table in RP618. For a one-piece, manually adjusted system, use the nut manufacturer's installation instructions. I'm Rick Dahman. This has been a Timken Tricks of the Trade video helping you build your service knowledge. Thanks for watching.